Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a zodiac reading for my earth signs, so that is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, it's going to be timestamped in the comments box below. If you want to book me for a personal reading, the booking link will be in the description box below. Okay, so let's see. We're going to have a look at your next seven days ahead, and we are going to start with Capricorn. All right. <clears throat> okay. So it's not going to resonate with everyone. Check your sun, moon, rising. Check your Venus signs. Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn this week? Okay. We have balanced spirituality and practicality. That is a full moon in Pisces. Okay. And let's take a look at your energy for this week. We have indecision. Indecision. Okay. Mm. You know, it could just be that there's like a pathway that you want to go down, <laughs> you know, and it's more to do with your heart, how you feel. Okay, but maybe you've been down that road before. All right, and this could even be with a completely new person, or it could be the same person. But, you know, your intuition is saying, don't do it. <laughs> so we got Ten of Pentacles. Oh. We've got the Star. Four of Wands. Ten of Swords. Five of Swords. Two of Cups. <laughs> um... Ace of Swords, sorry, Queen of Swords, what else we got, we got the Emperor, Three of Pentacles, yeah. I think you just kind of need to be careful. Some of you, because I'm getting two different things here, okay, so for some of you, you might be offered an alternative way to make money, and it's not necessarily going to be a good way for you, okay, because it's going to get caught up in a whole load of rubbish. It's not going to be good for you. I just want to make that clear, but... For most of you, this is about love and this is believing somebody, you know, that they want more. Maybe they're coming across like they want to fight for you a little bit more. They want to know how they can build towards things. Okay, but you are kind of remembering how painful it was, you know, when you dealt with them before. <laughs> Here comes the devil. <laughs> and this is you, like, two of pentacles, like, juggling the idea of should I entertain this person. For some of you as well, if you're a masculine, it's almost like this person... This feminine that could be interested in you is more interested in you for status, money, you know, things like that as well. Or they feel like they own you. Okay, so you do kind of just need to be a little bit careful. And I think as well, kind of check your reasons as to why you want this person, male or female, it doesn't matter now. Check, check your motives behind wanting to be with this person. Because I, I kind of feel like this person is going to do everything they can to control the, the, the narrative of, you know, how this is going to play out. You know, they're going to navigate this. It's not going to be you. Even if you feel like you're starting off in a powerful position, you're eventually going to be feeling quite weak. So you need to be careful, okay? And they're going to kind of make these little advances and things like that, all right? But you are strong, single, independent, okay? All right, but there definitely is this part of you that with this Seven of Swords energy that's looking over your shoulder, looking back at this person, you know, and hoping that they're just going to drop everything and come to you. All right. And even if they do, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's going to be a healthy journey. So they're saying as much as you feel like you want this person pra in a practical sense, in an everyday living day to day sense, do they make sense for you and in your life, you know? Are you guys really aligned on the same path or have you guys gone your separate ways, you know? Okay, so we've got Aquarius, oh, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries. Okay. You know, maybe some of you are thinking about reaching out to this person yourself, you know, whatever it is. Think about it. All right, Capricorn, what else do we have for you next seven days? Yeah, we got coffee. <laughs> wow, okay, let's see. 
Yeah, see, some of you, you know, this person might just be showing up over the next seven days. If they're not, it would be soon. Okay, and it's almost like they're just trying to get your time. Alright, I definitely feel like they've got some legal issues going on. So they might even get you a gift of some kind. But they're just trying to get you back where they need you, okay? With you guys as well, they're saying really focus on work. Okay, because some of you feel like you're not doing so well in work or whatever, but you have like something coming towards you, okay, where you can kind of, I don't like it's more money, yeah, or at least a, a new idea or a way to make money, okay, something that you need to do. Okay, Capricorn. A gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, a chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Okay, so there's an opportunity, there's something coming towards you where you can really get involved in this, you know, and you can become quite passionate about it as well. So they're saying, look, you know, focus on that. I feel like there is a light at the end of this tunnel coming up, okay? So just don't don't run back just yet. Okay. <laughs> or if you do, just pause. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, let's read some guidance for you, my loves. Okay, so we have TikTok. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> okay, timelessness, divine timing, and measurable time. Let's look at protection. Have you been feeling as if the clock is ticking and gotten a little nervous that your dreams are taking too long to manifest? There is nothing to fear. You will never run out of time for the important things. The miracles that are yours and yours alone can't be missed. Isn't that amazing? There is such capable hands with guides and angels hovering in invisible spaces, ensuring that your journey will be filled with all sorts of goodies. Let your anxiety be gently dispelled by your faith. Spirit will never deny you your highest good. All is yours in divine appropriate timing. You can relax. Okay, so if you're worried that you're going to be left on the shelf <laughs> or you're not going to have this love or whatever, they're just saying, look, let time do its thing. Okay, don't rush anything and don't go back in another direction that's going to, you know, help you waste more of your precious time. Okay. All right, so Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Let's move on to Taurus. All right, Taurus, this is your next seven days. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Okay, Taurus, we have believe in the impossible and you and your loved ones are safe and prosperity lies ahead. That is a new moon in Taurus. Okay. Just keep, keep charging through, Taurus. That's all you got to do. All right, sometimes you got to be a little bit selfish, okay, because you're looking at the bigger picture. Not everyone else can see your vision. All right, Taurus. Okay, we have broken heart. Oh, so some of you guys, you know, you're just in recovery mode, okay, or maybe something's going on this week and it's going to reopen a wound. Or create a whole new one, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's have a look. Taurus. Got this King of Cups. We've got Hermit. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Fire Fan. Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry, for some of you as well, you know, you could just be finding out that <clears throat> your person has moved on. They're either in a committed relationship, married, or they're getting married. Okay, oh, Lord. And they're just kind of leaving you, sorry, out in the cold. Okay. And 
I just think maybe you guys are even trying to juggle between how you feel about two people. Maybe there's one in particular you've kind of kept that to yourself, you know, and maybe your relationship was almost a secret in some ways. Okay, and then you've got someone else here. It's, it's probably kind of had like a similar ending. And I just think you guys just feel really confused. And I think maybe you're just trying to almost process this loss. I feel like you guys are kind of grieving them. Maybe you're finding out that both exes have moved on in some type of way. But we've got Wheel of Fortune. We've got Six of Pentacles. We've got Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. So you know what? Although all this kind of stuff is going on, because maybe there's children involved in this situation as well, they want you to know work-wise, <laughs> okay, um, you're definitely going to be gifted something here, okay, or heavily compensated, Yeah, see, we've got the Empress here, and we've got the Chariot <clears throat> with the Page of Wands. So I think things are going to move on for you quite quickly. Um, you know, it, it's just in a situation where you just feel a lot of mourning. It's like you can't see outside of that right now, but literally, it's almost like divine intervention. The universe is coming in with just something, almost bulldozing something amazing into your life. You know, and if you do have children... It's almost like they're going to be able to be a part of it as well and flourish from it. So, I don't know. It just feels like things are going to turn around really quickly. So, I would just, you know, nurse your broken heart. We've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Taurus. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, we got marriage. But we do have a new pathway opening up. Some of you, if you were kind of going through this divorce, you're waiting on something to be finalized, you should be hearing something back about that very soon, if not in the next seven days, very soon. Okay, some of you are finding out that someone here has moved on or is moving on. All right, yeah, you know what? A lot of you could have some issues with child support as well, court access issues, things like that. It does feel like quite a few people here are getting involved. We've got message of concern. Oh, gosh, Taurus. Yeah, so I definitely feel like for a lot of you, you know, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I feel like the universe is getting involved. They are stepping in in this situation before it gets any messier, okay? And I feel like details will be revealed about a particular person that is not going to help their case in any way, all right? Especially if this is like family, this is sibling, rivalry, whatever this stuff is, okay? The truth will be revealed. Okay, Taurus. We have leap of faith, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy, it's Aries energy. Uh, and let's have a look here. Okay, Taurus, yeah, we have forgiveness. All right. Unfortunately, sometimes it's really hard, okay, because, you know, people can really do the most to sabotage and hurt you. But I just think that forgiveness, you know, as cliche as it sounds, it really is for ourselves. It's to kind of cool those fires down when we want to burn, <laughs> we want to burn it down, you know. It's just to kind of cool us more than anything. So it's just giving that person forgiveness, you know, and, and it depends how you want to forgive that person, you know. You 
got why. Mm. I think you guys are probably overthinking this situation a lot, but thinking can be good though. Thinking in a new way, you know. All right, let's see. Motives driving intention, the power of knowing the why. Okay, let's go to protection. Sometimes subconsciously denying the truth may drive you towards a specific outcome that actually aligns with an intention hidden from your awareness. For example, you may want to be prominent in your profession, but your desire is not really about sharing your talents, but about making yourself feel better because fame would cause people to admire and approve of you. Or you may want to reunite with the partner who rejected you because you believe that your love continues to be strong. But deep down, what you really desire is to have the last word with that person. Now is the time for deep soul searching of the why that drives your choices. What you uncover will set you free and bring you ever closer to the happiness that you seek. Mm. Yeah, especially if this is family as well. You know, it can cut real deep. So yeah, you know, but try and just also stay in the present as well. This is your reality now. This might be your new normal. So how do we move forward? Okay, with, with less fire <laughs> in our bellies directed to the, the people that have done you wrong, you know? How can we lighten our load and just be happier? Oh, accept things, acceptance, you know? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that reading, Taurus. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Virgo. This is going to be your next seven days, Virgo. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay. All right, Virgo, let's have a look. Seven days ahead. We have you and your loved ones are safe, and that is a, a new moon in Cancer. Hmm? Virgo, let's have a look at your energy over the next seven days. We've got happy families and we've got financial constraints, okay? So I definitely feel like you guys are really trying to spend time with your family um, or, or even if it's not more about family time, it's about maybe building those bridges with certain family members and um, just maybe trying to co create like a harmonious family environment, you know? <laughs> But also, I think there are, you know, financial uh, concerns for you this week. So let's have a look. Virgo. We've got two of swords. We've got the star. Eight of pentacles and ten of pentacles. We have the hangman, eight of cups, knight of cups, sorry, knight of wands, ten of pentacles. And we've got the lovers. Yeah, so maybe for some of you, you could be trying to make it work with someone here. Okay. For some of you, this could have just been some fun. All right. <laughs> and now it's kind of turning into a little bit mull. There's definitely someone from your past who is making contact. I feel like if you, if you ever sort of had an intimate relationship with anyone in the workplace, school, or college, this person, okay, has a whole new start ahead of them. They're going to be contacting you. But I think for a lot of you, you guys are, you know, almost like you're maybe... I think probably you're like the breadwinner, you know, you kind of take care of everybody. Everybody relies on you. But there's definitely some indecision here. Okay, I definitely feel like there's two paths and you're like, what one do I go down? Okay, because we do have two masculines or two feminines here as well. So for some of you, you could be thinking about, oh, but I need to make it work for the kids, the family or whatever. Okay, maybe you've got history. All right, and then for others of you, it's like, well, I'm seeing someone. It's not that serious. Should I make this something more? 
All right, so there's a lot of indecision here. So yeah, I kind of feel like the next seven days you're gonna you're kind of gonna be taking um, some time away from these situations, okay? And maybe just having that family time. You know, maybe there's some birthdays and things coming up or family events or whatever. So you're gonna kind of busy yourself with that, all right? And you guys are just really working on how you're gonna increase your wealth. Okay, they're also saying just kind of what you're spending over the next seven days as well. Okay, all right, so we've got Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius. There could be a um, the reason why I'm saying be careful what you're spending, I feel like there's something coming towards you that you haven't accounted for financially that you're going to need to pay for. So, just any purchases you want to make over the next seven days, just you know, we've got Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Did I say Gemini there too? Okay, Virgo. Let's have a look at you. 